hey, look at this pause screen. That's kind of cool. Alright, we're back in Amaranthine Voyage 7. I was going to say 14 for some reason. Uh, Legacy of the Guardians. We have the incomplete medallion, some cloth, and a guardian's photo. And uh, let's uh, click things. So, all of Grandpa's stories about Arden were real after all. Could be, could be. Uh, I think I can see a piece of the medallion inside this bookcase. Smash it. We don't have time, seriously. So, blah blah blah. Badoom. The spectral medallion draws the energy to open portals from these spheres. It can only hold it open for a moment or two before energy starts to leak out. Perhaps Grandpa disassembled the spectral medallion to conserve his energy? Bronze handle. Grandpa stored part of the medallion in this vase, but I'll have to unlock it first. How do you know that? So, blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. The key is shaped like some fantastical animal, probably local to Arden. Well, this explains why you haven't found a handle for a year. I was just gonna say, that was not the handle I picked up. Only one of my blood can find the key under my table. My key should unlock the truth. It's a note from Grandpa! I'd recognize one of his riddles anywhere. Well, I guess that was... alright. Cool. That was it. You were like an older brother to me, Rodroom. Thank you for helping me during my first year at the Brood Academy, Lucian. This picture frame looks like the one I found in on Arden. Oh, hello. This looks like a smaller version of the sphere in my backyard! <clears throat> Totes. Grandpa said that the spectral medallion could harness the energy from the spheres, although this one is small. I think I can use it. Energy source thing, energy. Alright. Nope. Crucial part of the medallion is still missing. Creature pendant. Oh, okay. Sparkles indicate areas where you can search for more items. Examine this area closely. Yeah, oh, I just realized we haven't had a, an object scene yet. Oh, a mermaid. Alright. Find the items listed below. Items written in different colors require more interaction to find. Oh, joy. There are morphing objects! Woohoo! You can play a bubble popper instead of a hidden object puzzle. <laughs> Alright. Ba 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 ba. Cool. Sure. I'll play this. Um. I'm not too big a fan of the whole riddle hop ba thing. Oh. Oh dear. Um. I wonder if I'm, I'm gonna lose this. Oh. Oh joy. Okay. Um... I feel like I'm probably gonna lose this. Oh no, I, oh, it just goes in a circle. Okay, never mind then. That's nice. Nope. Whee! 
the source central piece. Crystal component. Oh! At last, the medallion is complete! But judging by the looks, energy levels are seriously depleted. I should recharge it before use. The spectral medallion reacts when spheres are present. Use these spheres to charge the medallion or to activate a portal. To charge the spectral medallion, drag it over a sphere and wait for the circular gauge to appear and fill completely. Spectra Medallion has been fully charged! The sphere without its energy looks dormant. Well, it's still moving. Uh, 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 I guess we go back. Oh, wait a minute. Ho ho! It looks like two more pictures are missing. Alright, Pete, um, you are going to have to hold down the fort now for a while. That's fine, right? Oh. Okay. Whoa. To activate the portal, you'll have to re-establish the connection between the star and the black hole. Alright. <sighs> okay. Press the info button to read instructions. Press the skip button to automatically solve a minigame once the button has charged. If you want to restart the minigame, blah blah blah. Connect the star to each of the black holes. Press each path to rotate it. Paths light up when they become connected. Some of the black holes also have paths. Okay. Not sure what you mean by that. Uh. Oh. Okay. I see. Uh, why am I not done? Oh, some of the black holes also have paths. I see. Now I see what you mean. Fine. We've survived like a hundred Hoppa games at this point. Okay! A guardian! I can sense that you have a spectral medallion. But if I can, so can the chalice. You have to run! I'm wondering if they are also part machine or if it just their skin just has those kind of lines. Like... Use the medallion to activate the portal to the Exarch's camp. Hurry! I should be safe at the Exarch's camp. Hopefully the Exarch will tell me what's happening. There's no time to ask questions. Bye-bye, thank you. Interesting. Every time I use a Spectrum Medallion, I deplete most of its energy. No, is that a surprise? Was that Onslow? Where did he go? I have to talk to him. Oh. Is Onslow um, going to... Uh, oh yeah, no, at this point it's like, okay, don't trust anyone. Everyone's gonna turn on you. Because you always need a betrayal, otherwise... I, I, I don't know. Apparently, you always need a betrayal in the story. Edges of some scenes can be selected to view more of the scenes. Select the left or right edge to pan the view. I didn't even mean to. 
accidentally find it out, but cool. Two of these logs are clearly connected to the Arden military. How did you know that? The lookout is locked. I should keep my eyes peeled for a crest decorated with two arrows. Oh, same thing. These mechanical creatures look like they are guarding the gate. Are they keeping us here? This gate is the only way in or out of the camp, so the key has to be equally important. The energy fence is too high. Only possible escape route is through the gate. Escape route, I guess. This fire is definitely magical. I'll need something magical to extinguish it. Why do we need to extinguish it? Nobody knows. We just randomly do. Shrine. Now is the time to act, but all you're doing is waiting for her. She's not even a real guardian. True. Normally, people are angry only after they've met me. Ah, oh, Eve. Don't mind Prince Cato. He's going out of his mind with his sister Sarah missing. I'll talk to him later. The Exarch is waiting for you in his tent. To enter, you have to find the mechanical guard's jewel ornament. Really? We're in a time of crisis and you're sending me on a puzzle errand. I'll go try to calm Cato down. He's young and impulsive. It gets him into trouble sometimes. You don't say. I've got to find the missing gem. I hope the Exarch can shed some light on this situation. The situation. Uh, whoever made this lock is not afraid of spiders. Alright, apparently they have spiders in Arden. They look like earth spiders. Uh, it seems someone took one gem from the lock, but who would do such a thing? Well... I don't know. Thank you, I guess. Something at the shrine feels amiss, but what? Alright, hello. Nope. Alright. Book, cart, fairy wings. Crown, bucket, blue crystal. Bucket and a blow crystal. No, I'm just getting a crown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ring, bell, drum, horse. Okay. Can I please get on with it? Ah. Uh, ring and drum. Silver guard badge. Yay! Without using a hint in 60 seconds. Oh, thank you. I didn't miss quick ones though. Spider mechanism, alright. Sure. and glowing gem. Cutting device is missing a few vital parts. Well, that was one of them. Ok. 
Okay. Place all 10 gems on separate tiles using the emerald cubes, which carry two gems each. Select the cube, and then the arrow next to a cube to move the cube in that direction. Cubes drop gems into empty spaces as they move. Cubes <clears throat> follow arrows on the board and skip over any pl spaces containing arrows or gems. Uh, sure? Okay. Um... We need this one to still be here. I hope I'll get some explanation on what's going on here. No. Nope. Guardian, my daughter Sarah is missing, so I'll be brief. We created the Chalice, an entity guided only by logic to eradicate injustice and war on Arden. Unfortunately, the Chalice declared that the people of Arden were the greatest threat to peace. It imprisoned us all using the Nidoli Guards. We nearly lost hope until you arrived. I mean... The chalice isn't wrong, though. The same would go for Earth. Like, the people are the greatest threat to peace on the planet. Th that's not what you intended, but, like, you can't fault the logic because it's 100% true. Sarah must have found a way to escape. There might be more information in her diary, but we can't find it. Will you help us? Sure. That's the way I'm here. I guess. Sarah's diary must be here in the camp. I will find it. I promise. D didn't really explain... Well, I guess you explained a bit. But yeah, no. That, that pure logic, yes. It seems the Exarchs reigned over Arden for hundreds of years, but where is the picture of the current ruler? Gun... All right, fixed cutter. Uh, I should give Sarah's diary to the Exarch as soon as I find it. I'm using this helmet to store my memories. It's the safest place in the camp because the Ndoli guards can't use it, Sarah. Maybe Sarah had some useful information about the location of her diary? It, if I could only access her memories. It's literally right here, dude. You could have done this yourself. Okay, not sure what we have to do, so I'm gonna put myself here, and then we are going to take a break. So that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank y'all very much for watching, and I'll see ya.